Why does everyone keep telling you you have to learn Java in order to mod? Let's explore that in this video. All right, we find ourselves back in the channel once more. And in this modding tip video, I will explain why you need Java or a good Java foundation in order to properly mod. Now, in this case, we find ourselves in the Forge 119 tutorial project here, but this works regardless of whether or not you want to program with Forge or with Fabric or with Quilt or you want to do plugins. It doesn't matter. Anything that has to do with Java modding for the Java edition of Minecraft, you are always going to need Java. Now, the question might be, why is that the case? Why would I need Java in order to mod the Java edition of Minecraft? Well, first of all, it's in the name, right? It's built on Java. So therefore, you you need some Java knowledge. The metaphor we always use on my Discord server is if you can't speak a certain language, writing a book in that language would be very hard. So for example, let's say you couldn't speak French, for example, but you wanted to write a book in French. Obviously, first of all, you would have to learn French at least to a very decent degree before you can actually write that book. Because translating every sentence is going to get not only very tedious, but also you might not understand exactly what every word means, meaning that you might mistranslate stuff. Therefore, it's not quite going to work. And that is actually a very good metaphor for the same thing. So you might see things like public static final string mod ID and then equal to this tutorial mod, right? This one right here. And you might be like, I don't know what any of those words mean. That is not good. Of course, you know what public means in the sense of the word, but you don't know what it means in the context of Java. And that is honestly not a good thing because not knowing what that means actually is a detriment to your mod, especially in the long run. Any great mod developer has started somewhere. And yes, some of them have started without any Java knowledge. I actually know at least one person who now has a mod with over 1 million downloads who didn't know anything about Java before starting and they learned Java while making their first mod. And now that is actually hugely successful because what happens is that obviously making a mod is very motivating. I can understand that it is, but then learning Java, sometimes there's a disconnect where it's like, oh, now I have to learn all of this stuff that doesn't really affect my mod, but it does affect your mod. Because if you can properly program in Java, your mod is just going to be more performant because you know how to program cleanly. It's going to make it easier to update for you in the future because, hey, I have organized everything in a way that I understand things like that. And then also, and this is probably one of the biggest reasons why you should learn Java first is because you have access to the external libraries and mainly all of the source code of Minecraft. Meaning if we actually take a look at this, we can go down to this net right here, Minecraft. And now all of the vanilla classes are available to us. So for example, if you are like, well, how does this certain thing work? Well, either I can go down to the external libraries or I can also press shift twice and search for stuff. So for example, how does the magma block work, right? I just search for magma block and you can see net micro world level block. I double click on this and we have the entire magma block class in front of us. We can look at everything. And this makes it incredibly simple to take certain vanilla features, implement them into your mod and then modify them to give a little bit of a twist to them. And this is why it is so incredibly important that you have a Java foundation, because that is going to eliminate, you know, 80% of the questions that you might have. Hey, how can I make a mod that works like the magma block? Look at the magma block class. Then you might say, well, I don't know Java. Then the next step is learn Java, because I can look at the magma block class. I can look at the step on method and understand, okay, this is probably what happens here, right? Something has to be done. So it's stepping carefully has to be false. And then also the entity that is stepping onto this block has to be a living entity. And then also the entity that is stepping on there cannot have the Frostwalker enchantment. And then we're going to hurt the entity with a damage source hot floor by one damage. Sufficient Java knowledge won't only open up the vanilla classes to you. It also opens up GitHub repositories of other mods. It doesn't matter what it might be. I'm just going to take resource slimes, my own mod as an example, as long as the license is so that you can actually use this. This is the MIT license. So in theory, I could use all of this mod as long as I were to credit it properly. We can just go into the sources over here and take a look at anything, how anything might work. So for example, oh, I don't know how recipes work. Well, let's just take a look at, you know, custom recipes. So this is actually a custom recipe type for a custom block entity. So you can actually take a look at this. You can see, oh, this is all of this craziness. Now this might seem, oh, this is so much, it's, it's crazy. But when you look at it, it's just a couple of methods returning a couple of fields. It's actually not that crazy, but this opens up such a big world for you that is actually crazy. And last but not least, and this is actually also quite important, if you then ask for help in, for example, my Discord or any other Discord where some mod help is offered, what then happens is you can effectively communicate. Because if I tell you, hey, go into the block util class, 
for example, it doesn't matter. I don't even know what this does. And take a look at the get limit method. And then what you need to do is you need to actually the second parameter is the thing that you need to pass in. You immediately know what that means. You go into the block util class over here. You look at the get limit method and then you take a look at the second parameter here. This is a nonsensical example, but it still genuinely highlights the power that knowing Java actually gets you. The help you're going to get is more effective and more efficient because you understand all of the words, all of the terms that are used in Java programming. You don't rely on copying and pasting everything from a tutorial. And then also Java, it's going to open some great opportunities for you in the future, because I'm telling you programmers are actually highly sought after still even now. IT field is growing at an exponential rate, so it can also help you in the future as well. And then most importantly, hopefully for you, you can actually create the mod that you want to create. All right, so hopefully next time when someone says to you, please learn Java before modding, don't take this as an insult because it genuinely isn't meant as an insult. It is meant just like the metaphor in the beginning. You can't write a book in a language you do not understand. So those are the main reasons why you should learn Java before starting to mod. I hope this modding tip was useful to you and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So, yeah.